Hi, my name's Kevin Hicks. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The History Squad. Now, we've made a, a film, a video, call it what you will, for Halloween. It's uh, my ghostly stories from the castles I've worked in, both in England and Wales. So, uh, let's start with the first one. It wasn't really a ghost, but it's a ghost story. I used to work at Warwick Castle, centre of England, lovely castle, and I used to get there very early if I could and just have a practice shoot, or if it was in the winter, I was often working indoors. And this one particular winter, I'm working as the Victorian policeman from the Warwickshire Constabulary, and I would patrol the grounds. And as it opens, I find myself in what was called then the Ghost Tower. It was actually the um, Watergate Tower, for, at the back of the castle, a really fantastic medieval structure, but it was decked inside as a, a murder scene from the Tudor times. And I was just sat in there. And I'd got my Victorian police cape and my policeman's helmet under my arm. And I was about to get up when four gentlemen entered the murder scene, this Tudor room. It was very dark and, you know, moody. And they didn't see me. And this is the problem. Sometimes I get the devil in me, you know? So I lifted up my cape and put it over the top of my head and held my helmet under my arm. All I did was stand up and go, can I help you gentlemen? Well, they screamed and they ran. I was asked later on, did I see anything that upset four gentlemen who were leaving the castle at high speed and one of them shrieking as he did. Well, they've probably got a ghost story that they talk about, the headless policeman at Warwick Castle. Well, it was Kev. Yeah, you've got to have fun sometimes. And this having fun or this inquiring mind used to get me not into trouble, but into little scrapes. And uh, I used to go to these other castles. And Chepstow Castle, one of my faves, there was uh, the great ghost of Henry Martin in Martin's Tower. He was a regicide, he was uh, sentenced to life imprisonment under Charles II, and his life imprisonment was in what they call Martin's Tower. Beautiful Tudor Tower. He was allowed to bring his wife, which he didn't want, and he used to spend hours upon hours staring out of this one window into the courtyard of the castle, watching everybody come and go. And so it is said, that's where the ghost stands. All the girls who worked at Chepstow Castle years ago, oh, you know, the ghost, Henry Martin, he stands there, you can see him. And they kept saying to me, you're not really worried, are you? I went, no, not really. And <laughs> so they says, well, you lock up the tower then. Go all the way up and all the way down. It was very badly lit. And uh, I'm coming down the one day and there's a person standing there. So I walk over to the person telling them the castle's about to close when this person simply turned and looked me in the face and disappeared, just like that. I didn't quite know what to do because did I see it? Was I imagining it? To me, it was real. And there was an incident, in fact, two incidents on that very spot because being a bit of a devil, as I said, I used to tell the school groups that I took round Chepstow Castle, I used to crowd them all into this little space on Martin's Tower there, and I'd tell them about the ghost of Henry Martin who stands on this very spot. And I'd get all the kids really worked up and the teachers would be listening. Those who knew the story would stand at the back trying not to laugh. And what I'd do is I'd get three or four children at the front there, students, and we'd all hold hands. Because on the TV there had been these ghost hunters and these little orbs rose up and I said what we've got to do is we've got to gather the energy from the men and women who died in this room and the kids are all listening to me and we get our hands together and I said everybody must be quiet and we must get our breathing together and I tell you I get 30 40 kids we thought everybody being dead serious. And then when it was at its height, I'd, and the kids would jump up in the air and everybody start laughing, except for the kids who were crying. But hey, we used to have fun, yeah? I used to spook the kids, all that kind of stuff. Well, there was a, 
a bit of a last laugh on this spot because I did get another school as I did and we got them into a circle and we're talking about the orbs rising and the energy and all of that kind of stuff and the teachers are all there because Kevin's going to go boo and all the kids are going to jump up and we're there in the circle and an orb simply gently rose up in front of us and there was an aura around us the tables were turned I was absolutely mesmerised and so were the children. I didn't go boo. I didn't need to. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little video of mine. Uh, something a bit scary for Halloween maybe. If you did enjoy it, like, share and subscribe please. And don't forget to turn on the notification button for all notifications because we've got such a varied scope of films if you like. But before I go, I've got to give a special shout out to some of my Patreon members because these are the guys who fund my films, really. We've got Damien with them, Declan Barney and Red Hunter Bates. How's that for a name? Hey, guys, thank you so much. Bye for now.